Let me change into something more comfortable. All right, team. Adventure time. Look, Rip. Just what we needed. Hey, Flam. Hello, lady. Hello, Rock. Hello, Parsnip. So this is pretty cool, Poppy and Elise together. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poppy Elise for our first of four more meme decks today. We're going to have a lot of fun playing some more meme tier decks. Just had a lot of really cool looking meme tier donation decks to play and so we're doubling up on the meme tier days this week. Um, this one's going to be Poppy with a lot of spiders and just other good attackers going with Demacia and Shadow Isles for our two regions um, and kind of going wide. We have a lot of cards to help us go wide, help Pop Poppy buff up a bunch of smaller units, hopefully attack a couple of times with Golden Ages to go along with the Poppy. We have a fearsome uh, kind of sub theme in here as well because once Elise levels up, then all of our spiders have fearsome, and of course Elise itself has fearsome. And so do some of the other spiders, like Arachnoid Horror, Frenzied Skitter, they got fearsome. Um, and so then we also have Scythria the Bold, since we're Demacia at the top end, that can you know help give everything fearsome. That could be a cool little uh, combination there. Um, and then even Blighted Caretaker. Blighted Caretaker will make the 2-1 saplings, but with Poppy, there'll be 3-2 saplings, and they'll be able to challenge and take away um, things that would be able to normally block Poppy, uh, you know, we can get rid of those with the Caretaker, with the Hap, or sorry, with the Flea Feather Tracker, with those kind of things. So let's give it a try. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Poppy Elise. Let's go play five games. So it looks like we have a Landmark deck. Zig's Action Talia. So probably an aggressive Landmark deck. We're going to just get rid of all three spells. There we go. Make sure we can curve out with some units. Now it'd be nice to have one of those spells, especially like uh, Sharp Sight or Ranger's Resolve, something like that to help protect Elise. Fleet Feather Tracker. What's that noise? So I don't want to play Tracker, and then, yeah, they play something like that. And trade. Yeah, I love this trade. That's an awesome trade for us, because now we get a Spiderling as well. I am worried about Ziggs on round three, because Ziggs is a 3-4. So I could open attack with Elise, but then if they have a pump spell, then that's not great. Let's maybe go Tracker, Arachnoid Horror... I think we trade the Spiderling away. Yeah, I'll trade Spiderling away. Find your own. <laughs> Catch. I think that's perfectly fine. <gasps> we would not have leveled up Elise if we would have had one more Spiderling anyway. Just get those things out of here, give, give me a little bit more room. Hmm. Now if I would have kept the Spiderling, we could have Blighted Caretaker. Oh, right. This doesn't... We have to play a Creedy card or kill a unit with a spell this game. So wait, yeah, why is... Maybe this card shouldn't be in our deck. So, wait, yeah. Okay, maybe that card shouldn't be in our deck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rally next round with the gold, you know, golden ages here. Okay. So 
So I do have enough mana for Caretaker plus Golden Ages. Also, now that they killed that. Gonna catch the sky. Okay. We got him. One and oh. That wasn't so bad now, was it? No, not so bad at all. Okay, we're making one change to the deck list. We are going to go ahead and take out those Tenor of Terrors, kind of looking at our deck and kind of thought that it was going to be difficult to enable Tenor of Terror. Not impossible, but difficult. We kind of need to uh, kill something with a spell like the Vile Feast or the Glimpse Beyond, something like that. Um, so in instead, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the, the third Caretaker. It's like another way to, to go wide. But we still will kind of maybe want a couple more things to kill or at least another thing to kill. So we're going to play a Mage Seer Conservator as it like just that one extra cheap unit that uh to kill with uh caretaker and then a screeching dragon screeching dragon with poppy actually sounds really cool because um you like if you play poppy on four but you have the attack token on five then you get to play screeching dragon on five you get to attack you get to you know it would be poppy would also buff up the screeching dragons make it a five six challenging that seems like a pretty good combo so we're gonna get one of those kind of in this mid game also all right so those are the changes let's keep going Playing against Heimer with Bandal City. This is probably going to be a Glorious Evolution deck. This is a good looking hand, except I, I could probably mulligan one Aristocrat. Or maybe even actually both Aristocrats. Yeah. Because if we go Tracker on one, Elise on two, do I need to play like Hapless Aristocrats on three? The answer is probably not. We could probably get something... Um, more powerful to be playing at that point of the game. Come closer. I don't bite. Minus two power to Fleet Feather Tracker that just kills that card. Okay, but they go with the horror instead. Wow, he made a moon silver. That's pretty cool. Let's attack! Just keep attacking, just keep attacking. I don't know, so I do that, that puts him down to 8. Yeah, sure. Now we get the attack token again. Just keep attacking, just keep attacking. Sure. That's cool. <laughs> Just many more to make larger. All right, nice round five kill. A couple rallies with some Elise. That looked good. Elise, Flea Feather Tracker, rally. Jarvan Shen. That's our next deck. So Jarvan Shen is always a, a tough deck for like these kind of small, like Jarvan Shen preys on small unit decks because um it just goes larger and you just has like larger challengers and it just controls combat and so this is like the the perfect kind of matchup for jarvan shen so i don't expect to win this but you never know right like we're gonna play the game but if they have like a a shen plus like a screeching dragon like they can just be mowing down a lot of things all the time but hopefully not Yeah, play around mini morph by playing by having all of your units less than three power. I don't bite. Pass, pass. No, yes, no bright steel pr protector just to have a three two to block. Cool. 
We could level up Elise next round. It's possible. With Vile Feast and Arachnoid Horror. It is possible. Water changes but never breaks. River shape the land. And give it life. So I can either sharp sight and kill one of these two. Or I level up Elise. Probably should be leveling up Elise. Yeah, it's really nice saving that Vile Feast for Barrier, I agree, but also level up Elise. Let me change into something more comfortable. Alright, team. Adventure time. Just what we needed. Hello, lady. Hello, Frog. Hello, Parsnip. So this is pretty cool. Poppy and Elise together. Wow. Killing my Elise. That's rude. What form will the waters take? Waters are still. Alright, well we still got Poppy. How about that? We gotta win! That's a tough deck for us to face, but we had a really good hand. We got to level up Elise on round three, Poppy on round four, and victory. Caitlyn Teemo. All right, so they have a lot of those poison darts to kill small things, but I do like... Okay, so obviously we're going to keep Tracker, Protector... It's just, you know, do we mulligan horror or not? But I guess we'd probably just protect it or keep it. It's probably better than... You know, it's, it's at least something we know for sure we're going to be able to play on round three. Cool, we get to double spell with those. Alright, because of Poison Dart, I'm going there. If they would have led with Teemo, I'm playing Tracker. But they didn't. So we're going... We're going to risk crap. I don't want Poison Dart to kill the Flea Feather Trucker. Tough places bring tough people. Probably double spell again next round, and then Pompey, even though we waste a Protector, and... Ooh, okay. We could just go with that. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. All right, maybe. I've got your back. Maybe this. Give me chase. For a surprise. I imagine that flea feather tracker's dead. Ooh, not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Whoa. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. Please don't kill Poppy. I don't like this. No. Boo. Here's my calling card. Honor guide me. All right, well, we're halfway there. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> good job, Pavel's first crap. Let's investigate. Playing the ground mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that noise? Heard there was a little fella asking for me. Don't want to just like pass and next round go like protector and skitter. I guess. Mushroom. 
mushroom help? Turning yourself in? Alright, so this is me doing 6 damage to them. I'm considering shooting my aristocrats and not give them the puff cap, or like two more flash bombs. But I think I'm gonna let that happen. I think I'll do that on defense for bl blocking purposes. But we got both puff cap peddlers out of here, so that's very good. They're down to four. I could really use a nice random six plus cost spell. Hmm. Or I may have to kill the sting officer. Scoping the area. I guess we just kill Sting Officer. Man. I want to play Elise right here and level up Elise before before they flash bomb away. But now there's a Destiny's Call. The thing is, is like, I play Elise, they could kill Elise, right? Like, they could just, you know, like, they have remo- they, This is a removal heavy deck, like, they could just kill Elise. They win a Destiny's Call. It's a lot of flash bombs, so they're act they're activating them. Alright, so that went terribly. The Destiny's Call. Turned out they doesn't look like they had removal. Looks like I should have just played the Elise, leveled it up. But yeah, it looks looks like that was the play. Because then I open attack. Even even if we just have these two, like these two challenge, they're two, they can block, and then they can't block the 4-3 Elise, and the 4-3 Elise kills them. Uh, yeah, I can't I can't attack. If we attack, we take nine damage. Cause they cause Elise puts in the other spider attacking and I can't attack. <laughs> I can attack with the this arachnoid horror, I guess, can attack. I can't attack with Elise, but I can attack here. They block, I take 9, go to 6. But then Caitlyn's dead. Alright, just can't do anything. Like, not, nothing I... Nothing I do works. Three times over. Okay. All right, three and one. GGs. That's no way to treat your queen. Lots of peacemakers. All right, Draven, Caitlyn. So gonna gonna be the same kind of matchup. Hope this time they don't get to kill my puppy. We do have a sharp sight for protection. I like that. I like that. But we don't really have anything else. We don't have the small units. I think we're gonna send this all back. Look for our champions and ones. Okay, champions and ones. So the good news is that's not a thermogenic beam for Poppy, I guess. I want to get some good news out here. I feel like I should just be passing here and playing that. Round three. So if I play Skitter and then they play Caitlyn or Draven, probably don't want to block, so I probably get more damage in. I have the best job. So it just doesn't really seem worth it. 
I think I want to save Spellman here. Because then if I do that, then playing Poppy on four is very vulnerable. I just want to save spell mana for the poppy of the sharp sight. Okay. Now we're gonna go spider, then spider. Stop trying to kill my poppy. Man, that twin blade revenant's gonna be good. Well, oh well. I guess the Revenant's the only thing that can block anything profitably. Just kill me. Yeah, that to just throw away the aloof travelers. That's really nice for us, just making them, forcing them to throw away aloof travelers. Oh, right. Spinning axe. Well, they discard there. Just another spinning axe. Okay, well. There we go. Not the best turn for us, but still pretty good. Did a lot of damage. We got two bigger spookier... Units out here. Soldiers to me. Let's do this. That's scary. That's scary. They're willing to make that attack. Ooh, quick attack. Yeah, it could also be get excited. So I can. Technically, play everything in my hand. Would love another Frenzy Skitter to make you know these things not three power, but fortunately, don't get that. I should have just attacked right here. Did he eat up their mana? Definitely thinking about Vile Feasting first. Before attacking. Because I assume that the two four powers should block these two. Yeah, like, if I vial the 4-4, four, four, it still just blocks one of these, so, like, that doesn't matter. It's really, like, these two, to, so, like, they can't block the two twos, but, like, one of them one of them still gets two, and so, like, you know, it's just, which one would I rather them have alive? And I guess I'd rather them have the Draven alive than the Caitlyn alive. Right, so, like, if I vial feast the Draven, then they just do the opposite. They have the 3-1 the Caitlyn. Yeah, they still have a million cards over there. I don't have any way to do one point of Nexus damage, do I? I don't have any drain for one type cards. Watch and learn. But I don't have any. That was a good move by them. I was hoping that they would just attack immediately. Yep. 
from how they like attacked the previous round, we knew that they were gonna have some kind of removal like that. So most beyond wasn't gonna be working, but I have nothing else. So a couple good close games against the Caitlyn decks, but they just got us. So GG's. Three and two. No, we have no burn spells on the list. Double check, but nope. Tribe even Probulator. That card really got me. If I would have just opened attacked before that tri beam. All right, so our Poppy Elise deck went three and two, and looked pre looked pretty good. But you know, like it just ran into a couple of very good Caitlyn draws, and those those decks can be uh, pretty tough. Like those are very good decks, also. So you know, they went it went against us, and that's all right. Um, I liked how our deck looked looked though. You know, like it had good aggressive starts. It had fearsome. It has some. Uh, different challengers with the saplings and the flea feather trackers. In fact, I don't think we ever actually got to do the sapling stuff with the flea feather trackers to help uh, the fearsomes get in there. Poppy buffing everything up and golden ages for some rallies. Pretty nice little deck here. Is this? I wouldn't expect to like rank up super high with this deck. Um, I think that you'd probably be looking at you know, like a round of a 500 record with this deck. But you know, nice little meme tier deck with some spiders and poppy. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Poppy Elise. So those of y'all watch watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. And if you try it out yourself, let everybody else know how the deck went for you. Hopefully you, you're you enjoying it. But that's going to be it here for uh, Poppy Elise, Poppy with Spiders. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.